when you get these kind of talented people together, and this is faculty and students, and industry people, and you, you get them outside of their normal setting, you know, their, their normal laboratory, their normal conference room, or their normal campus, and they meet somewhere different with different people, the ideas flow. I, I don't, you know, psychologically, I don't know why that happens. It just happens. And that's incredibly exciting to be sitting down with a group like that. And yes, you, you talk about the task at hand, the problems that need to be solved, but invariably that leads to discussions about innovative ideas and pushing the envelope. And has anybody ever tried this? And that's incredibly exciting. Our motto is powering the future through energy research and education. So that's really what we believe in. CAPER, or the Center for Advanced Power Engineering Research, is a membership-driven consortium among universities and industry partners in the southeast region of the United States. CAPER is an organization focused on bringing together academia and industry. This is right now a collaboration between NC State Clemson University and University of North Carolina Charlotte. And we don't all do the same thing. So to bring those together in some systemic, holistic way of addressing these problems in energy is, is just fantastic. The advantage of, of working on the collaborative projects is if, if I were just like an individual faculty and I'm, and I'm not working in the context of Freedom and Caper and, and the industry partners, I'm working in somewhat of a vacuum because I don't, I'm not the person who's out there working with the actual systems and getting my hands on the equipment. So we're always looking to work uh, on research projects that are particularly useful for the industry. We don't want to just do academic research. So the advantage of working with industry on these projects is you can talk to the engineers that actually operate the systems, they can give you their experience and how these systems actually work and some of the initial experience they've had and things like integrating renewables. Because the projects we're working on has direct implication on the functioning of the energy industry, particularly Duke and the project that we're working on. Now it's grown into the level that we are nationally recognized. We actually, you know, empower the future for the power grid, looking at the research and education aspects. Uh, and the other thing which CAPER obviously is uh, because the university is involved in that, you'll also get to do workforce development and educational related work with the power grid. Benefit to industry is to be able to go to through one organization like CAPER and, ha and to reach multiple resources that can be pulled together in various combinations to research and resolve the problems and challenges that the industry has. And so it allows us to, to do more, to accomplish more, and to have a faster impact. And it's very important to have a relationship between industry and students, because if we don't train the students to the right level, they may not be able to work in industry in a very effective and, uh, and pr uh, productive way. CAPER has an advisory board that is run by industry and all the projects that are selected to be funded out of the CAPER organization uh, come out of basically industry involvement in developing the topic areas, developing the research projects. Uh, the institutions come together to put in proposals to accomplish these research projects. If industry wants to be involved in that research, they can participate by being an industry advisor to a specific project and bring a real world feel and validation to that project. So I would much rather work in, this, in these industrial consortiums where you can see the impact, you can get students involved, you see them in becoming employees of these companies and you know taking what they learn here and applying in industry. Currently being on the Duke Energy side, having that kind of support and having uh, that kind of solution in our toolbox where we can easily uh, go to CAPER and uh, with all its universities, with all its brain power to uh, get solutions to our very specific problems is, is a huge tool for us. We use real data, so we have a way to validate any future state of the grid of a future, for instance, with real data. So we have the opportunity through our partnerships with the utilities to have real data 
real case studies, real networks to study and therefore having a validation process along the way. At every level, right from undergraduate to the graduate and the doctoral level, students get a unique opportunity to work to see real life problems. Without Keeper, I would have like no research experience as an undergrad, so that part's been really cool. Um, it's also let me work with a new software called GIS, um, learn all kind of new like techniques to use in that software, um, really helped me like develop my skills. I've kind of been interested in uh, the utility industry since before um, I got involved with Caper, but it, it's definitely opened up more opportunities and allowed me to pursue that uh, interest further. In regards to opening the doors, I've made a lot of connections with industry leaders from the utility side as well as more of the design side, people from GE, ABB, EPRI, etc. Um, just a number of people I get to speak with, with the amount of experience they have, many of them 30, 40 years experience. Uh, I can't find that in a textbook. I can't find that often at the university. Uh, so it's really helpful just having that relevant experience. Well, I think if you look at uh, the future, uh, we need people. Uh, most of the time, the people which we have developed recently, they are total new skill sets required. We're using CAPER as a recruitment tool for our future workforce. What better way to build your pipeline for future workforce is to have an engagement, interaction, a working relationship with the students. I was actually a, uh, a postgraduate at CAPER. Um, I graduated at Clemson University this, this May, or, and um, I was a researcher. One of the things that I see from students who go through these projects is they become so much more marketable as a result of having been doing these sorts of things as a student. I think that's one of the, one of the really biggest uh, values. It's absolutely a win-win. I think it's a, it's a four times over win because you actually get the benefit of all the other universities' facilities in one program. The future of CAPER is very bright. If we continue to collaborate with each other, and work in, 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 in very interesting project, I see the future is really great. There's so many issues to be addressed in energy and bringing that kind of brain power and talent and resources to the table, like I say, is going to accelerate uh, the solutions that we desperately need. When I look into the future, it's organizations like CAPER that I believe will power the future the energy research and education.